Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Middleware Technologies. Today we will be looking at how we can map JSON document fields using index mapping. Okay, so here is my document uh, uh, that I am going to refer for this video. So basically what we are trying to achieve uh, in this uh, video is like how we can make use of index mapping to create some uh, set of data fields with a particular type and map that when we are indexing the document okay so basically uh, in our last video that we have seen like we have seen like by default uh, the elastic search maps uh, based on the data that is available in the json document so in our json document that we uh, were trying to index all the fields were in the text format so the json uh, documents were indexed using the, uh, the type as field uh, text field in the in index okay but uh, here we, uh, we we will be trying to like modify that uh, field types explicitly so that we get the correct uh, data type for each field that we are indexing okay so i am going to work on uh, the federal workstation 37 with the docker and docker compose installed so basically uh, what is mapping okay so every document has some set of fields and those fields contain values okay so those values can be of any type okay so they can be integer they can be strings they can be date they can be uh, geo, geo geospatial location coordinates so whatever it may be okay they, they can be bitmaps or uh, the image documents binary data or whatever you can think of okay so but uh, whenever we are trying to index uh, that document uh, uh, of different fields or different types Elasticsearch uh, makes a dynamic mapping of those fields with the best of the knowledge that it has based on the data that is available in the JSON that document okay but uh, we can modify that uh, behavior basically like whatever dynamic mapping is happening with Elasticsearch we can modify that behavior and uh, make an explicit mapping uh, done to our data set okay as we have our data set we know better like what that type of data it has and what uh, data types we need to map it to okay so that way like we can do ex explicit mapping in Elasticsearch okay so there are two ways uh, like we can do mapping uh, in Elasticsearch the, uh, the one is dynamic mapping as I said, Elasticsearch makes use of uh, the default uh, dynamic mapping settings in order to best map the fields with the JSON uh, field document, uh, JSON field values that are coming in. Okay, so that is the default behavior that we get whenever we are setting up the Elasticsearch for the first time. Okay, but uh, there is one more uh, mapping that we can do that is explicit mapping wherein we need to provide the uh, the mapping definition to the elastic search uh, with a particular uh, set of information like basically containing what type of field uh, will be uh, uh, of what type of uh, 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 what is the type of that field okay so that is what this mapping definition contains okay so we can create this mapping definition and send it to Elasticsearch and tell Elasticsearch that we want to use this specific mapping for this index uh, like whatever documents are going to be indexed in this specific index so that is what elastic mapping is all about okay we can have an index that can contain both explicit mapped and dynamic mapped field types okay so we can have an index which contains both the dynamic mapping fields which are uh, like uh, taken care by Elasticsearch and the explicit mapping fields which are provided by us okay so now let us go into our uh, procedure like how we can achieve this of uh, basically explicitly mapping the data types in our index okay so as a first step like we need to ensure that this data set is indexed with dynamic mapping so in our last video like we have already seen like how we can uh, index the JSON data sets in Elasticsearch using dynamic mapping okay so if if we go into our 
index like we have this prices index with default uh, dynamic mapping uh, done by Elasticsearch for indexing purpose okay now like what we are going to do is we are going to gather the index mapping details okay so we are going to send this request to index and get the mapping details for that particular index okay so let me go into my kibana portal we need to go into uh, management dev tools and here like here we can remove all that information that we had and just copy this uh, request wherein we are going to get the mapping details for this index okay so if you see the mapping properties like category is of type text laureates which consists of first name is of type text id is of type text so everything is text so we need to change this one as per our requirement okay so this is the mapping uh, definition that we can take it directly from here okay so yeah so we can just Uh, like uh, uh, like re, uh, ignore the first two uh, flower brackets and we can take this mapping definition completely and ignore the last two closing uh, flower brackets and this is the definition file that we can take as a reference and copy it okay so now like uh, in our step two like we have already seen like how we can get the mapping details in the uh, for a particular index using the get uh, api request okay now let us go into our next step that is step 3 that is creating an index with explicit mapping okay so as i said like we are going to create an explicit mapping definition uh, with the field types map it to a particular uh, type as per our requirement so for this like we are going to use this put request like wherein we are going to create this index with a explicit mapping definition okay so this is my explicit mapping definition that we are we are going to use this is the same thing that i have copied already from the dev tools okay so let me copy it completely and let us go into our dev tools so we can run this put price explicit mapping uh, like which will create this index with this explicit mapping uh, uh, which we have defined okay so here if you see like i have changed the id type to integer i have changed changed the share type to integer and i have changed the year type to date okay so these are the three changes that i have done to uh, index the document as per my requirement okay so let us create this index with the explicit mapping like you can see it has completed the creation of that index with explicit mapping definition that we have provided okay so now let us go into our next step that is step four that is indexing the documents using the new index with explicit mapping okay so now that we have our uh, index already available uh, ready with explicit mapping definition we need to send our documents to that particular index for indexing purpose okay so here i'm going to use the same script that we have used in our last uh, article or last video uh, you can uh, go through my uh, article or video on this how to index json data set in the elastic search you will find uh, the information related to that uh, python script so we are going to execute this straight away with the new index name okay let me clear my screen and we are going to copy this python uh, the file name and the input to that uh, script that is python script uh, that is the index name 
so this is going to basically index all the documents uh, with that but a new uh, index name with explicit mapping okay so now my index is done so we can go into our uh, kibana portal and now let us go into stack management again go to data views and here like we can create uh, this create data view if you see now we have two indexes this one uh, was the our uh, first index without uh, with dynamic mapping and this is our second index with explicit mapping okay so let us copy this name and copy it into the name and index pattern and now you see the time field has been activated so here we can select the year because that is uh, the field that we can uh, uh, with a date format okay so now the save the data view and if you now go into discover like we will have two indexes available which is prices and prices explicit so let us go into prices explicit mapping and you're not able to see any data why because it is only showing the last 15 minutes data but we have uh, indexed the data with the year as a timestamp uh, which uh, has uh, the data since uh, last two, uh, 2000 years okay so let us change this to last 2000 years and refresh okay now you can see our data is available indexed data if you go and open uh, any of the JSON document like you can see you can see that we have the ID field is now a numeric field type and share field is a numeric field type and the year field is of date field type so this is how like we can actually index our document with our specific field type that we want to do using the index mapping okay so uh, so this is what uh, like we need to do if we want to have an explicit mapping uh, created for our index so we can create that mapping definition file uh, so we can create an explicit mapping definition file uh, create the index with that explicit mapping and send our documents to that particular index with explicit mapping for creating the index so, and we will see like all our data with our particular explicit mapping that we have defined i hope you enjoyed watching this video thank you all thanks for watching this video and you guys have a great day